wanted to show you guys a couple of differences between the good and the beautiful, um, their current math and the new edition that is coming out um, in June and July. And they'll, they should all be out by August is what the website said. So I went through my level one and I printed off the samples for the um, level one of the Simply Good and the Beautiful math. And I kind of wanted to show you guys some differences uh, between them and kind of how um, the new one will work. I haven't used it, so these are just me going through the samples and what I've uh, noticed some differences. All right, so the current math has two books. Um, I am not sure with the new math if it's in one book or if it's in two, but they both have 120 lessons. Um, in the current math, um, we'll take lesson 11, for example. Um, they had your planner. You had to go and do the things in the planner, the place value chart. Um, you write the date. You practice one more, one less, and you do this one through these two throughout the whole book and this. And then down here, this changes. Um, every lesson, it's something different. So you have all the explaining in this lesson. Um, you have a little bit of a story, and it goes through a lot of instructions. And then it has bonus activities where you can do dom dominoes, you can do a student worksheet. And this student worksheet, this was my favorite one. He did, I love this picture, I need to save it. So along with this math also comes a, um, an activity box, which had quite a few manipulatives and four sets of cards, one to 20. This is the current Simply Beautiful math. Like I said, it's not out yet. This is just a sample that I printed off online. Um, and in this, you are going to have um, one math box. And it's pretty small from what it looked like in the video. Um, and I'm just going to compare lessons to you. So this is lesson six in the new Simply and Good and the Beautiful Math. This is your review. They're going to review here. And this is the teaching. It's right here. It's very small compared to compared to two pages. So this is teaching and this is teaching and this is the teaching. This is the teaching. That's it. And then you're practicing. Now this says lesson six and the one in the old one was lesson seven, but they're both about adding two. Um, so you're going to do that. And then here's the worksheet. This is a game. This is a game that you're going to play. It's very simple. All you need is a token to move. That's it. And then the worksheet on the back. And that is it for your lesson in the Simply, the Good, and the Beautiful Math. For the next lesson, I can't find a lesson that corresponds to the new one, so I just went to the same number. This is lesson 18 in the current one. And my son already did this. He's come really far. He can write his numbers better now. And that was... Um, a very short one, it looks like. I think we tore a page out. Okay, so this is the new one. Um, they have a spelling video you're going to watch. You're going to practice the day of the week. You're going to count by tens. And here's the teaching. Again, very short. It has a little worksheet in there. And then you're going to come over here and do this little worksheet. And then this is review. This is stuff they should be able to do independently because you've already learned it. Um, so, and then it's another lesson. So the lessons are very short in the new Simply and the Good and the Beautiful Math. And the math box is less. So there'll be some good changes, I think. Um, so I think they made some good changes in the math. I think whenever a company changes a product, you're always going to have people who love something about the new one and people who miss some things about the old one. So um, I'm just excited that The Good and the Beautiful listens to their customers and um, the feedback that they've had the last couple of years with the new math. They really listened to their customers and they came out with one that they felt like fits what everybody was asking for and they made it um, less expensive for families.
And if you didn't hear, they're actually going to be making the PDFs for the new math free. So instead of paying for um, them like you used to have to um, in other countries, having to uh, pay the expensive shipping, uh, the PDF is now free and they're going to give you some ideas they said on their website of how to create the math box um, if you aren't able to have it shipped to you. So I'm very excited uh, comparing the old to the new. I think that it is every bit as good as the current one and some things are improved and I think I'll miss a few things out of the old one, but I think overall it's going to be a great change and I'm excited.